Guys, welcome to the video. There is so much information online surrounding the topic of prostate cancer that it can actually be hard to tell what is a fact and what is a myth. Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna help you understand today. My name is Eric, I am a doctor of physical therapy and I specialize in all things the male pelvic floor. So I help guys prepare for a prostate removal surgery and I also help guys recover from a prostate removal surgery afterwards. So prostate cancer is right up my alley. Now what I've done today is I've taken the five most commonly asked questions on Google surrounding prostate cancer and I'm here to set the record straight. We're going to discuss what is a fact and what is a myth. Let's get into it. All right. Question number one, you can only get checked for prostate cancer by having the old finger up the bum. So yes, a digital rectal exam, a DRE, is still common practice amongst almost all doctors and urologists worldwide. Now, it's not just about the physical exam though, because there are other tests that are used to paint the whole picture in your prostate cancer risk profile. This test that I'm talking about is your PSA. This test is where they check and they run your blood for the levels of your prostate specific antigen, your PSA within your blood, and that helps paint the whole picture on your risk profile. So no, it is not all just about the physical exam. The physical exam is still important though. You need both. All right, question number two, only old men can get prostate cancer. Guys, this one's a myth, but I can see why you would think this way. I definitely know a handful of guys over the age of 60 that have either had prostate cancer or currently have it. Now, although men over the age of 50 make up the majority of guys diagnosed with prostate cancer, in recent years, men under the age of 40 have started to be diagnosed as well. And this could be due to the advancements in technology surrounding screening for prostate cancer making it that much more important for all of you watching to go and get regular screening done, even if you're under the age of 40. In my opinion and in my experience, I am gonna start at the age of 35 for myself because I have a family history. Now, if you have a family history as well, that is definitely something that you wanna be bringing up with your doctor to start getting screened regularly. Let's go get screened. All right, question number three. There is no need to get a test if I don't have any symptoms. Well, this is a myth, because what you need to understand is that prostate cancer, it typically develops and progresses quite slowly. And for a lot of guys, they don't get any initial symptoms. There's no red flags to say, hey, you've got prostate cancer growing inside of you. That's what makes it a really deadly form of cancer. Now the good news is, is that it's actually very, very treatable if the prostate cancer is diagnosed early enough. So if you know that you have a family history, you need to start going to get screened regularly. You also need to tell all the men in your life to go get screened too because guys are dying far too young and if you wait for symptoms to come up or to arise, you might be waiting too long. All right, question number four, prostate cancer doesn't run in my family, so I won't get it. Now, while family history does significantly add to your risk of getting prostate cancer, it's not the only factor here. Other factors such as your age, your race, and environmental factors play a significant role in your risk profile as well. So the answer here is regular screening is the most important thing you can do, regardless of family history. All right, last but not least, question number five, does sexual activity increase the risk of me getting prostate cancer? So at this point in time of filming this video, there is no clear evidence in research to support an increase in sexual activity to increasing your chances of getting prostate cancer. However, there are some very interesting research articles coming out that show increasing the amount of times that you ejaculate has actually been shown to possibly decreases your risk of getting prostate cancer. So we are gonna mark this one as a myth. No, you can have as much sexual activity as you would like without it impacting your chances of getting prostate cancer. Actually, it might even help you lower your chances. I'll leave that one up to you. Guys, the causes of prostate cancer are quite complex. It involves family history, your age, your race, 
environmental risk factors, and lifestyle factors. The best thing that you can do is go and get regular screening just in case you are at a higher risk and you might not even know it. The faster that you know and the sooner that you catch it, the easier it is to treat. All right, that's gonna wrap up today's episode on fact versus myth prostate cancer edition. I hope you got some valuable takeaways. I hope I cleared the air on some of those most commonly asked questions. The best thing that all of you watching can do moving forward is to go and get regular screening and to also encourage all the other men in your life to join you. Remember, regardless of your situation, keep going and I'll see you in the next video.